Welcome to this NX Help Tip. We get users asking if NX has a bounding box function. Generally this is needed to work out blank sizes for machining, but there are other reasons why. The functionality has existed in NX for quite a while, but can only be used with one of the wizard licenses, like Progressive Die, Electrode or Mold. We saw an interesting GTAC incident report recently. As of NX 9.0.3, and it turns out 9.0.2 can also do it, if you have a solid modding license, you can access this create box functionality. It isn't on a menu unless you have one of those wizard licenses, so you need to search for create box or mold box in the command finder. You want the create box function for mold with wizard. There are other create box functions, but they won't work unless you have the appropriate wizard license. When you find it, you can add it to a ribbon or a border bar. In my case, I added it to the left border bar. Now you can pick faces, edges, curves or faceted bodies and the bounding box will be created. You can specify an offset and as you pick objects the box updates. The handles let you drag the size of each box face. The WCS drag handles let you interactively rotate the box to suit the Orizaya. When you're done, you'll have a solid block. The NX10 version is improved by allowing solid selection and easier WCS alignment. Just to show, this was demonstrated with a standard NX Mac design bundle.